what she's saying and what she got basically quote unquote canceled for is just absurd. It's absolutely yeah. crazy. And uh, this, so this is what she wrote on Twitter uh, earlier this week. Let's see. When was it? So it's a long one. So uh, February 6th. So I believe it was Tuesday. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and read it. It says, today is an important day for me. I'm filing a lawsuit against Lucasfilm and Disney. Uh, after my 20 years of building a career from scratch and during the regime of former Disney CEO Bob Chapek, Lucas, sorry, Lucasfilm made this statement on Twitter terminating me from The Mandalorian. Quote, Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts uh, denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. So, Gray, what did she say? Do you remember? What did she say back then? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, basically, but, what what was it that got her, like, you know, let go? They, they didn't want they want her pronouns to be in her bio. I know that's one. And mm -hmm. to, to apologize for putting it as beep pop poop. Yeah, I believe that was the main reason why she got let go. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, I believe they, uh, she also posts um, maybe one or two other things that, um, according to them, basically uh, relates, you know, the Republicans or people who are, you know, against certain things, right? Like, I'm, whether or not it, it is true or not, relating them to people from the Holocaust. And according to a lot of these people, and, and I have a lot of crazy ass friends online who feel like she you know they think that she uh, she's a racist she thinks that she's like a you know crazy anti-semite and stuff like that which is hard far from the truth so let's go ahead and continue let's see what she says nothing could be further from the truth the truth is uh is i was being hunted down from everything i posted to everything i post i uh every post i liked because i was not in line with the uh with the acceptable narrative of the time my words were consistently twisted to demonize and dehumanize me as an alt-right wing extremist. It was a bullying smear campaign aimed at silencing, destroying, and making an example of me. And that's absolutely correct is because there are a lot of crazy other people that either was with Disney or maybe no longer work with Disney that said much much more crazy things. And if this is nothing crazy at all, what she said, right? What she said was actually pretty mild. And it's like, oh, you know, a little spicy, you know, add some pepper and stuff like that. But other people are saying crazy things. I believe this other dude, I forgot, last name is Morrissey. He basically said that if you were like, like voting for a specific group or something like that, like whether, whether I think it's MAGA, they said that the kids of the MAGA should be, you know, tossed into this uh this thing that uh chips you away you know so it's uh it's 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 pretty it's pretty damning and um i'm not sure if they're still working for disney and we do know that uh pedro pascal has says worse things way worse things and stuff like that and um i'm not saying that tim allen is a bad person but he said some stuff too but he's also still employed with disney you know like doing um you know uh what's it called again buzz lightyear let's continue the thing is, I never even used aggressive language. I shared thought-provoking quotes, pictures, memes, and occasionally I use my own words, not with aggression, but with respect and occasional comedy to keep the mood light, light in dark times. Uh, look with your own eyes at what I posted and ask yourself, for an example, where did I compare Republicans to the Jewish people in the Holocaust? Yeah, she didn't even say anything. All she did was she posted an image. She didn't say anything herself that I didn't. Ask yourself, why they were calling me a racist was there any merit behind that or history of it whatsoever no um look at why i was called a transphobe for making droid noises from star wars beep bop boop was obviously directed to the online bullies and did not in any way denigrate transgender people yeah i think i, I believe um a lot of these people who are like asking her, oh, oh why aren't you putting your uh, pronouns in your bio and shit like that. I was like, bitch, who fucking cares? Is this your own personal account and stuff like that? It's and and yes, you when you're whenever you're working for a company in a way or so, you are representing that company, right? And it's like, 
oh, you know, whenever I go to a uh, fucking uh, E3 or, um, you know, Comic-Con or whatever, like, I am representing the company. Do not make a fool of yourself and stuff like that and blah, 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 whatever. But the thing is that she didn't say anything that's, like, bad. But these people online basically, like, I don't know, like, lost their shit. Uh, how do you feel about this, man? Yeah, it's uh good on her that she finally has the backing to be able to fight against them. Because it's it's about time cancel culture gets canceled, as implied in Gary's video recently. Mm -hmm. I think it's that it's time we start fighting back. And it's I mean the the numbers are already um, starting to finally sink in to investors. Like in Japan, people um they're withdrawing from ESG money. So finally they're starting to see that it doesn't make sense to invest in these fake identity politics preaching that they thought were gonna make them money but it turns out they were bleed they were they were bleeding so heavily and yeah it's fine it's like let's start going back to the way things were at least a semblance mm -hmm. of it that's how i see it yep now um i found the post of that that dude and um i'm probably gonna watch what i say is because um saying stuff uh youtube might take your your video down so uh so this person uh says hollywood producer jack morrissey calls for the unaliving of covington catholic kids go screaming into the tripper of woods right maybe fbi should pay him a visit and he worked at disney at the time of putting this out when was this when did he tweet this 2019 i believe yeah 2019 so do you know who the covington kid is no. So uh, according to what I know, chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Catholic Covington kids are basically um, Nicholas Sandman, right? He was the one, he was the person that was sort of, they isolated him and try to cancel him and stuff like that. It's part of that group, if if I'm not mistaken, right? So uh, basically, I believe they went to um, a, I think, I think that, um, at school, they went to a visit, um, uh, what's it called in the Washington DC, and basically, like, the one of the kids were being harassed and stuff like that. And uh, it's it's the one where the Native American was banging the drum. Like, I, I, I'm assuming this is this is the actual incident. He was banging the drum, and that guy was just smiling. He's like this, and the Native American guy like was banging a drum in front of his face, and then that Nicholas Sandman guy was just was just smiling. And then they're like, like CNN, a bunch of these news outlets came out and said, oh, this guy antagonized this uh, Native American guy, you know, like, and I believe like he got canceled everywhere. Like uh, they started like smearing him saying like, he's alt-right, how like he hates Native American people and how he's a MAGA supporter and stuff like that. And how like, he's an awful person. And then you see the entire video is him just standing around looking at stuff. And then the Native American, Native American guy goes up to him. And antagonizes him with his drum. So, and then what happened was he ended up suing a bunch of them, and and they settled because he won. Like there was no case. Now, this one on the other hand, it's like, like he said that guy said some egregious stuff. That, that that's insane. You're calling that, that that's a call to action, right? That's actually can can get you in trouble. And I believe uh, someone said in the chat. Uh, he since deleted it and privated his account or something like that. Yeah, that, that does make sense, right? It's because, but but like Gina has said, nowhere near as anything like that, and they just let her go. But yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe according to these people, if you are on the right side of um politics, um, you have a free pass. I don't know. How how, how do you feel about that uh, Jack Morrissey guy? I. I, yeah, the reason why I'm silent is I think I've heard this story before, but I think it's a different one. It's one where, uh, ba all the, yeah, I, the one I'm thinking about is I think in 2016 or 2015, where even Chris oh, Evans, okay. Chris Evans chimed in. But it actually, uh, it's a, it's something similar where people didn't see the whole picture. They, um, but it actually. It, I forgot what it's called. I, for, I forgot what the events were, but it's something similar. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, I think these people had their way for far too long now. And I think mm -hmm. I'm glad to see that there's some pushback already 
from powerful people. Like it's all, all this time, it's like it's always powerful people who are at the side of the woke people. Now we see people on well, actually, I, I don't want to say our side because I don't want to say it that way. I don't want to think of it that way. We I just think like we're all critical thinkers here. We we think out of the box, we think we see the bigger picture. Not because, oh, I'm woke, oh, I'm anti-woke. No, I, I don't want to categorize it that way. So at, mm-hmm. at least we finally see some higher ups thinking about. Yeah, this this isn't right. Like this, um, this shouldn't be happening to people who don't really deserve it. So yeah, good on Gina that she's fighting yep. back. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, continue. Let's see, were my questions about masks, lockdowns, and forced vaccines okay to ask and push the subject into the light? Should we have been allowed to public publicly discuss those topics at the time without being harassed or censored? Absolutely. Hollywood says they support female representation and equal rights. Why then were my co-stars permitted to speak without harassment and re-education courses or termination, but I was not uh, afforded the same right to exercise my freedom of speech? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's not naming anyone, but like, of course, we do know Pedro Pascal is the person, right? Artists uh, do not sign away our rights as American citizens. When we enter into employment, I've spoken to all my co-stars since I was fired. And there is uh, there is nothing but care and kind words between us. I respect their right to, to free speech and do not have to think the same on every issue to be their friends and work with them. And I know they feel the same towards me. A couple of months ago, Elon Musk tweeted that if you had been fired from using the platform for exercising your right to free, uh, to free speech, he would like to offer these people legal representation. Uh, quite the noble offer, but never in my wildest dreams would I have thought anyone would take on my case against Lucasfilm and Disney. Still, I did respond back, quote, I think I qualify and a thousand of uh, thousands of people agreed, but I did not expect anything. Exactly. I believe, um, like you said, we're having pushback with people who are extremely powerful. Elon Musk is one of the most richest and most powerful man in the world right now. So um, let's see. To my surprise, a few months ago, I received an email from a lawyer who had been hired by X to look into my story and many others. Turns out after sending them as much information as I could gather these past few months, my now lawyers and X believe wholeheartedly in my case and are moving forward. I would like to uh, express my deepest gratitude and thank you to Elon Musk and X for giving me an opportunity to bring my case to light. As for me, I would love to pick up where I left off and continue my journey of creating and participating in storytelling, which is my utmost passion and everything I worked so hard for. So now I do want to address this part where she says, I want to continue my journey. I believe when she says this continuing her journey is not to be, I would say not to be recast. Yeah. yeah. Right. But I think people interpreted it that way. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's not to be recast, but but maybe just to be like, not to be vilified as is, horrible person yeah. because she is not yeah and to me, right. like i could either continue her career either in uh hollywood or in other places just not in a way that she has to talk about identity politics and s- stuff about this she, she just wants to move on in her life yeah basically yeah i i, I agree i think she just wants she, she just wants not to be blacklisted from hollywood for just saying what she thought right there's a lot of there's a lot of people in Hollywood who thinks um, with common sense, but a lot of them do not speak up. It's because of fear of cancellation and stuff like that, right? But let's finish this off. It has been difficult to move forward with the lies and labels uh, stuck on me and backed and encouraged by the most powerful entertainment company in the world. I am grateful someone has come to my defense in such a powerful way, and I look forward to clearing my name. Thank you for all the people who have supported me and made your voices heard. I pray God blesses each and every one of you with love, Gina Carano. Inquiries now. Uh, so that's that's a sh- Shira Jaffe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I looked that up, and that's uh, I'm gonna bring this up right over here. I think it's uh, share 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 Jaff share Jaff for immediate release. So, uh, actress Gina Carano files discrimination lawsuit against Disney Company and Lucasfilm. Mandalorian star harassed, terminated for political views. In LA, uh, in LA, California, today Gina Carano 
the actress who played Cara Dune in a Disney Plus series in The Mandalorian filed suit against the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm for their wrongful and discriminatory treatment and termination of Carano. The complaint filed in the U, uh, U.S. District Court for Central District of California outlines and details that the harassment and bullying Carano endured simply for voicing her personal political opinions on X and other social media platforms. Uh, quote, this is a civil action arising from the defendant's wrongful termination of Carano's employment and uh, sorry, in retaliation for Carano's lawful exercise of her right to speak and express her views, says the complaint. Um, Carano was defamed when defendants publicly mischaracterized her social media posts and her character, resulting in the loss of her agent and attorney as well as future employment uh, companies. I believe she was supposed to have her own show. And yeah, yeah, they she was that, supposed right? to have her, yeah, it was she was supposed to have her own spin-off. Yeah. Man, uh, Miss Carano was bullied and harassed on social media for refusing to support movements and ideologies with which she did not agree and for raising questions on various issues of the day, including such issues as BLM, COVID lockdowns, election irregularities, and transgender pronouns. Disney and Lucasfilms targeted Carano for harassment, termination, and public defamation all because she expressed views that did not align with those of Disney and Lucasfilm. This was at a time when several of Carano's male co-stars posted offensive and uh, denigrating posts on social media directed towards Republicans and conservatives. None of Carano's male co-stars were disciplined, terminated, or publicly accused of denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities that Disney claimed was their reason for her firing. Yo, that sounds like some sexist issue to me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds sexist. What do you think, man? Yeah, uh, they're right in every regard. And they have they have receipts. That's the, that's the part. That's the thing. They have receipts. And yeah, I don't know anything about law firms in general, but I'm, I'm assuming this is e Elon who, who did his homework on who's the best law firm to represent Gina. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, good luck on them. Legitimately, not not sarcastically. G good luck yep. that, that they uh they win this case and stick it to Disney. Like, uh, we're sick. We're so sick and tired of this woke shit happening to people and putting it on their entertainment and products. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so I do want to pull up a, an article from Bounding in the Comics. Um, this shows. Um, I can zoom down. I just I read her entire thing and I zoom that scroll down. And this is what something that they used to uh, sort of say that, like, why she should get fired, right? So she posted this on, it looks like, uh, social media. Maybe it's on Instagram. It looks like it might be on Instagram. Um, it says, Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but their neighbors, even by children. Because history is edited, most people today don't realize that to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their neighbors hate them simply for being Jews, how is it any different from hating someone with uh, other uh, with for their political views? She didn't say it; she has shared it, right? And I believe there's another one, uh, you know, right, uh, that she said. I'm not sure if, if it's here, but no, it's not here. Let's see. Um, it's the one where um, there was a guy. There was a photo of a bunch of people doing the "Hail Hitler" sign, and then there's one guy. Like there's like a hundred of them, and there's one guy that's not. And he's just there like this with his arm crossed, right? And it's sort of like following, you know, uh, you know, being, a re you know, whether you're rebellious to whatever regime it is and stuff like that. She posts something like that too. So that's amongst a bunch of stuff they're trying to get her for, right? So over here, here's another one that says, uh, they're mad because I don't, uh, I won't put pronouns in my bio to show my support for trans lives. After months of harassing me in every way, I decided to put, Three very controversial words in my bio. Beep, bop, boop. I'm not against trans lives at all. They need to find less abusive representation. Right? And here's another one. Uh, let's see. Uh, if they can arrest you for not wearing a mask and walking outside without permission, they can make up any reason to arrest you. How do these police officers live with implementing tyrannical rule over the people they have vowed to protect? Uh, they know it's wrong. Right. And uh, basically, a lot of these things are it's common sense. Right. Like back like remember back in a day where um, 
you have a fight with your friend saying that uh, Star Wars is shit and Star Star Trek is better, or um, you know, uh, um, freaking uh, Indiana Jones can kick the shit out of um, Han Solo. It's like some nerd of war shit, but you guys can still be friends. Yep. Right. And now with this, it's like it's, it just feels like if you're not with us, you're against us. And the thing is that they love Gina Carano before all of this. Now, what the fuck happened? Right, just because she said something that's against your tribe, against your freaking dogma. It's like a fucking brainwashed religion. And that's yeah. and, and that's how I feel. That what everyone is on the left and people who are like, you know, not everyone on the left, crazy people who are who are on the left thinks like that. Right. And then a lot of people who are like for me, I was so close to po posting something on like on Facebook. Like I said, I was so po I was very very close. <sighs> but um the thing is um I actually found the actual uh entire how many pages is this? A, a 59 pages of the actual uh, Yeah, for lost. sure. It's it's always going to be a lot. thick. <laughs> it's, it's always going to be thick. This is a thick boy. It's a lot. And a lot of people were mentioned in this, right? So let's I'm going to read the first paragraph, right? um introduction <laughs> okay i'm gonna read the introduction chat a short time ago in a galaxy not so far so away. far away that's so good that's gonna trigger a lot of people the yeah yeah made it made it clear not only one uh orthodoxy in thought speech or action was acceptable in their empire and those who dared to question or fail to fully comply would not be tolerated and so, as was with Gina Carano, uh, after two highly acclaimed seasons of Mandalorian as Rebel Ranger Cara Dune, Carano was terminated from her role as swiftly as her character's peaceful home planet of Alderaan had been destroyed by the Death Star in an earlier Star Wars <laughs> film. That's <laughs> uh, and all of this because she dared her vo uh, voice her own opinions on social media platforms and elsewhere and stood up to those online bully mob who demanded her compliance with their extreme progressive ideology. Yeah, that is <laughs> that's so good. That's so good. But yeah, um, it's insane. Yeah, yeah, we heard it. Uh, th this is a, this. I love this quote that Dylan D put in. Quote, don't ruin my life with lies when yours can be ruined with the truth. Man, that's yeah. so good. Yep. That is so good. Yeah, that, that, I, and it makes sense, right? Like how, like how much, like she, she she's, she's such a strong, you, you, Hollywood wants a strong female character. You have one, mm -hmm. right? But, um, yep. But the thing is that it's not over. There are a lot of crazy articles and I'm going to read a couple of them because, um, this is insane. This comes to us from their Mary Sue. <sighs> All right. Uh, it says this Gina Carano saga that no one cares about anymore just got it, worse. That 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 quote it's contradicting itself. It just got worse, but nobody cares about it. If it oh got worse, it, if nobody cared about it, then it never gotten worse. That's it's like. It, if no one cared about it, then it just stays where it is. So, so what's the real yep. what's the real deal? Did it did it get worse, or do people not care? Yeah, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what the Mary Sue have to say. Gina Carano cannot let sleeping dogs lie. The actress who previously played Carol Dune in The Mandalorian continues to make her own gross social media posts. Everyone else's business as she's now suing disney while being backed by elon musk a cursed sentence if i've ever seen one uh so if chat if you guys don't know who the what the mary sue uh this this uh crazy online is is basically um they think that uh kylo ren and ray having a baby is awesome <laughs> uh, they they thought that the last jedi is probably the best star wars movie ever <laughs> uh so um rec uh, okay let's go carano who was fired from disney's payroll after she wouldn't stop posting right to wing social media conspiracy theories is now filing a lawsuit against the mouse according to the hollywood reporter stating that the company discriminated against her because of her posts 
that were discriminating against transgender community. So beep, bop, boop. That 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 was what everyone was pissed off about. So this person, <laughs> Rachel Le Leishman, sounds like a fat person's name, um, <clears throat> is uh is triggered because of beep, bop, boop, right? Oh, great! How 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 do you feel? I I don't know. <laughs> yeah, these. Yeah, these people need to talk to people more in real life. Like, it's, I think they spend too much time online, and this is what happens when you do. And yeah, I, I, I who's who's the parent company of this newsletter, these online newsletter, the Mary Sue? Who's uh, who's back? Who's giving them funding? Is it is it BlackRock too? <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. Black... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's continue. Uh, see, her posts also spread misinformation about the COVID-19 vaccine and a number of other issues that the company reportedly talked uh, with her about. Wait, I thought she only posted that, like, you know, you shouldn't, people shouldn't have to wear a mask and stuff like that. I don't think, look, she didn't spread, okay. She shared stuff about, like, myocarditis and stuff like that and, you know, uh, ivermectin and stuff. Like, and she was like, and she posted, like, the, Hmm, face, right? Like I'm thinking about something and stuff like that, or whatever it is. Uh spreading misinformation and stuff like that. Oh my god, dude. I'm pretty sure uh uh writing this article is spreading mis misinformation, and this this article is giving me AIDS. I'm getting AIDS <laughs> reading this article. <laughs> See, now Carano is trying to get a court order that would force Lucasfilm to recast her as Kara Dune. I don't think that's the case. Um, guess she wasn't making the kind of money working for Ben Shapiro that she was getting over to the Mandalorian. According to what I heard, Mandalorian only gave her like $25,000, $24,000 per episode, which is not a lot. Yeah, that's not a lot. Given how high right? profile she is and Star Wars. Oh my God, man. This, the, the, the audacity of these fucking brain dead people. Elon Musk is involved because of a statement he previously made about anyone who was fired uh, for their social media posts. Musk said he would pay for the legal bills uh, accrued and he is helping Carano, a famous actress, to foot the bill. It doesn't matter, dude. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter if she's famous or not. You can't do this to anyone. Yeah. Like, like if I was fired for saying that I allegedly I heard uh, Bob Iger's dick looks like uh uh toad from mario <laughs> like what stormy daniels did to trump right like you know let's say if i worked for him like would i get fired for it and stuff like that <laughs> it doesn't matter how big you are right and who who cares if musk is offering it is what it is man yes this yeah in a statement, Joe Ben Bencock, who is X's head of business operations, said, "As a sign of I don't know how to say his last name, uh, as a sign of X Corp's uh, commitment to free speech, we are proud to provide financial support for Gina Carano's lawsuit, empowering her to seek vindication of her free speech rights on X and the ability to work without bullying, harassment, or discrimination." I guess no one doing this realized that this not only Disney is a company that means that they can fire anyone for any uh, any number of reasons, including their social media posts. So this is where I talked about how, like, if you work for a company, you, you basically represent them. However, um, you can fire someone over anything and a number of any other reasons, but are those firings right and just? Yep. Like you can fire someone for something, but yeah. if you are fired over for someone's speech, uh, political if affiliation, and uh, you know the fact that you're a woman and your co-star says a bunch of even more crazier shit and did not get let go, did you know that California is extremely progressive? Did you know that, Gray? Mm -hmm. Or right? maybe I did it. Yeah. Who, who knew they? California was so progressive? Right. So. Gina Carano, uh, I'm not sure what her, her her ethnicity is, but she's a she's a she's a woman, and it's her political view and stuff like that. And a lot of these companies here in in the Cal in California 
have a lot of these wrongful termination suits, and most of these companies typically settle. However, um, Elon Musk is one of, like I said, is one of the most richest guys on earth, and he probably has even more powerful lawyers than Disney do. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And, and for me, it's like the moment that thing happened. Uh, late last year, where he told Bob Iger to go fuck himself. I already knew. It's like, okay, his ne- next target is Disney. It's like, I'm all for it. Like, look, I- I'm not an Elon simp all the way. This prob- he probably has some opinions that I don't really agree about, too. But that doesn't mean like I worship the ground he walks on. But between him or Bob Iger, who is the more successful business leader? Who is the one who has a proven track record? It's not yeah. Bob Iger. The guy just bought Pixar. That's it. Suddenly he's a legend. No, I don't. I don't buy it. Now he's trying to buy gaming companies. Apparently, yeah, I think he's, he's getting into gaming. The, the, we can't talk. We can't talk about EGS later on. But like, he, he's, he's not. He's, he's the man. Just knows how to shop. That's it. If he has a lot yeah. of money, he knows how to shop. But Elon Musk has pro- he has proven himself to to be to have to create profitable businesses. So I would take him over Bob Iger any day. Yep. See more than that. Disney famously told Carano what she needed to do to keep her job, and she refused something that Carano herself admitted. Now, um, as a Chinese person, I am relatively familiar with what re-educational programming is. Um, they're doing they're currently doing this with the Uyghur Muslims in China. And what they're doing is basically capturing these Uyghur Muslims, putting it into concentration caps, and forcing these males to have babies with Asian females so they can have kids. And what they're doing is that the kids that who are actually Uyghur Muslims, what they do is they put them in uh, basically re-educational camps when they're like five or six, and basically teach them Mandarin, saying... Uh, <laughs> basically saying that they love China and how China's the best and motherland China is uh, is is the best thing in the world. I watched videos of these and it's fucking disgusting. All right. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that this is as bad as that, but this is pretty fucking bad for something happening here in the U.S., right? They basically wanted Gina Carano to go into a Zoom call and publicly apologize to 40 to 50 people there saying that how she wronged them and then blah, 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 whatever shit. And the thing is, she's like, I'm not fucking going to do that shit. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's that's fucking retarded. You basically wanted to publicly humiliate her on TV and shame her. Communist people do that in China. They shame your entire family, your entire fucking lineage, if you say something against the CCP. Like, are you are you fucking serious? We're having that here in the U.S. Well, uh, technically, we have Marxism, socialism, and fascism here in the U.S. and stuff like that. But you know, it's and and a lot of it's happening happening here in these leftist co- uh, le- leftist states like uh like California. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Let's continue. Now, though, Carano is trying to be the people's voice by forcing Disney to hire her back via the court system. Now, um, I believe uh, Legal Mindset had uh, talked about this earlier this week. I'm not sure if I heard it, but someone mentioned that it's a part of California law. If there's like a wrongful termination thing, you have to get hired back in your into your previous position. But I am pretty sure Gina Carano is not going to he she doesn't yeah, actually yeah, want to be hired yeah. back like that, right? Yeah. All right, I, uh, let's see. I, yeah, go ahead. That, I, I don't know. Uh what what are your thoughts on that being hired back to the company? It's like for me it's do you still have a future after everything that went down even if you get hired back? Like no. like that's no. yeah, right? That's that's going to affect your evaluations like you're, if, no matter how robust the evaluation system will be, it's like there's always going to be yeah, this person's we, we have bad blood against this person. We're not going to promote him. We're not going to give him a raise. Stuff like that. So, yeah. It's yeah. it's a strange policy, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. All right. Let's continue. Let's see. Which, again, Disney has the right to fire someone based on their social media posts. She tried to claim that her male co-stars post about liberal issues 
should have gotten them fired as well, seemingly calling out Pedro Pascal. That argument woefully misunderstands both law how her posts were offensive, and it means no uh, means for the company and able to fire an employee for their online viewpoints when they are represent uh, rep representative of a said company. Now, here's the thing: um, if I worked for a leftist company and their ideology is to hate the opposite side, whatever I say about the opposite side being bad, it doesn't matter. Is because I'm 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 towing their fucking message. I'm in line, right? I'm I'm basically uh, fucking saying what they want to hear, right? Bob Iger probably hates Donald Trump, so if or you know I'm pretty sure like um, Kathleen Kennedy hates all of these woke pe uh, these anti woke people. So if Pedro Pascal says, um, Kathleen Kennedy, you want me to go on social media? and say a bunch of these negative things about these anti-vaxxers and these right-wing extremists. And she goes, yes, yes, I do. And he goes, <laughs> I will be your champion. <laughs> and basically, that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> right? Like, that's exactly what's happening right now. And that's why he's getting cast in, like, all of these other shows, from m most of them from Disney. That's why he's I mean, he's fucking Mr. Fantastic, right? That's the Carano. Went, yeah. Yeah. So Carano went on to talk about how excited she was to have X funding the suit, saying how I am honored that my case has been chosen to be supported by the company that has been one of the last glimmers of hope for free speech in the world. As if this could not get worse, she somehow brought what she brought the late Carl Weathers into this. What the fuck is she talking about? Uh, through this news, I learned that Carano used the death of uh, Carl Weathers to guilt Disney about f her firing. When the fuck? I need the fucking receipts, man. Uh, in an Instagram post, a mental yeah, article. Click, Let me see if I can find click this. That, click that. Yeah, click that. I'm gonna need the fucking receipts, man. Okay. Uh, shit out of here. Okay, so Carl Weathers passing. To uh, hearing the news of Carl Weathers passing today. I'm gonna zoom in if you guys can see. Uh, it's shocking, and I'm going to struggle through these words. I was so looking forward to giving Carl uh, the biggest hug. So I read this already, actually. Um, biggest hug of one of these fans expos. I heard we were both going to be this year. I looked forward to the reunion. I ca uh, Carl called me directly after I was fired. I wasn't in an emotional state where I could pick up the phone because of how upset I was. But we did end up uh, speaking later on. He was gentle and encouraging and didn't want me to give up. He was letting me know that he wasn't throwing me away he was trying to keep my hope alive in what seemed like a quite hopeless scenario he showed me he cared and now who's what that is probably one of the most memorable moments that she can recall having with carl weathers yeah right so she posted yep. that how is that using his death that oh my god this these fucking people dude holy shit mm -hmm. oh my god dude I uh, bonded with him very closely on Mando season one to John Favreau felt he would be a good mentor for me because we shared the athlete turned actor bond. So John had him direct my uh, first episode for uh, season two of Mando. And I believe we have gotten uh, to Rangers of the Re a new Republic. Uh, Carl would have directed me in much more. Uh, John F was right. We were a great fit. Uh, Carl was a mentor to me on set and he would put, both his arms on my shoulder and looking at me, I look at me directly in my eyes to calm my spirits. Uh, he had a wonderful perspective of telling a story that can only come through from his experience and wisdom that he shared with me to help um, uh, make me shine. I cherish those moments. Yeah, it's just her saying how, how how much she missed him, and this is one of those highlights that she. This is not using, using his death as guilt. That's fucking retarded, dude. Holy shit, man. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Carano explained that Weathers was a mentor to her. So basically, I already read that. Okay. Carano uh, refused to listen to her members of the LGBTQ plus staff uh, at Disney when they tried to talk with her about her being trans, uh, about her transphobic tweets and why they were harmful. So I'm going to bring this up. Let's see. So is this Beep Bop Boop? Is no, it brings it, it brings me to another article. Yes, it's Beep Bop Boop. That doesn't mean shit. How's that transphobic? Oh my God, this fat lady. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she's fat. 
now she's so desperate to get paid again that she's trying to force the court system to make it happen and claiming gender discrimination is the problem actually laughable oh my god laughable. oh my god dude oh my god i, can't, I don't know how these people so, don't so, fall so down more often yes so desperate to get paid again does she not realize that she's set for life <laughs> She's just fighting back just because she believes it's right. It's that simple. She she has enough money for sure. Even if oh, even back then, even before she got into Disney, began working for Disney. She has enough money. Yeah. I'm all I'm hundred percent sure. See, this entire situation continues to be exhausting. And I for the long day when I do not have to hear about Gina Carano trying to get her all her old drop back. Give it up, it's gone. Oh yeah, she's fat. <laughs> oh man dude oh man oh let's see is she does she have a twitter account i'm pretty sure she does right she's right yeah, yeah she does under, under underneath her photo underneath her photo oh okay oh right here uh tweet tw tw twitter okay uh writer fangirl official leslie blah blah blah, blah. co-host she and her okay uh yeah um not not a good sign for sure. Not 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 a good sign. But wait. There is more. There is more. Here's another one from the memory suit. Ra another Rachel. Rachel O. Ula sounds like a fat person's name. <laughs> well, we can scroll at the bottom to find out. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Can't tell. Cannot tell. She's only showing her face. Let's see. Uh, let me see. All right. Okay. Uh, staff writer at the Mary Sue, freelance writer at Screen Rant, and uh, Tell TV Just Watch. And uh, yeah, uh, not okay. So basically, she's another Rachel that's write, writing about how Gina is. Racist? How? Oh my god! Oh my! Oh my god! These, these articles are insufferable. Gina was fired from the Mandalorian after making multiple insensitive, offensive, bigoted, and controversial social media posts. However, some may be wondering if there was explicit racism spe specifically in her social media activity. All right, let's let's see. Are there anything? Uh. Okay, this one. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. Heartbreaking and powerful story of a man who changed his ways for the woman he loved. He changes the world that one person at, uh love changes the world that one person at a time. So yeah. So how is this a bad thing? How is this gray? My eyes are really small. I'm not seeing how this is a bad photo. Right? How is she racist in this one? Right? If she if people are saying that. She's an anti-Semite. Well, I don't think so. It's because that person who has his arm crossed does not respect Hitler. Yeah, he was fighting yeah. back. So. Oh, my God. Yeah. Is there Are there more? See, in my experience, screaming at someone that they are racist when they are indeed not a racist and any post- and or search, sorry, research, you should know that those are exact facts. And I'm sorry that these people are not educators. They are cowards and bullies. Okay, I, I, I need more. I need more. So you also dropped out of a movie, uh, beep, bop, boop. I don't think that's racist or sexist at all. Mm -hmm. If that's racist or sexist to you, that's a you problem and not her problem. See, here's a note. Tim Allen made the exact comparison with no consequences. Okay, Tim Allen, who's also awesome. And Frank Center demands apology from Tim Allen following deeply offensive Nazi Germany comment. Well, that's what it says on that one. The link firing is most attributed to one specific post following a lawsuit. Okay. Um, if you own, if the only thing that you have is this, that's that, that, that that's not going to cut it. Yeah. Like I need like hard proof saying she called Asian people chinks. Like I need something like that, but there isn't any. Yeah. This is absolutely crazy, man. This is absolutely insane. And I I want I want Gina Carano 
she's going to, I have a feeling she's going to win like a hot, like 90, 99 to a hundred percent. Like most at least she's going to win is because the backing of the lawyers from Elon Musk and X, uh, yep. probably even more powerful than Disney lawyers. And I want her, and this is not, this is not the money. Of course, I know she, she's getting, she's going to get a ton of money from this. This is about sending a message. Mm -hmm. Right. More important. Send a message to Disney that you, you will not be bullied into submission. I will not kowtow to your fucking message and your fucking dogma and your crazy ass ideology that you guys have at your company. Right. And bullies online are li literally NPCs. Fuck them. Right. Like what, what exactly like what Dan says, this is the rebellion. Welcome to the rebellion. This is it. Right now, mm -hmm. it would be pretty cool. I want to see Carolyn do this too. I hope I I I, I know yeah, this is the house I, of Elon, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I I saw someone in chat. I forgot who it was, but uh, yeah. Why why is Carolyn not being represented? I think she is. It's just that it's still in the talks. Like remember, it took a while for Elon to bring this up with uh Gina Carano, even though it, she already sent a message. She, she she replied to that tweet how many months ago? Several months ago. It, it's only now that they announced it. And it was pretty... And they intentionally timed it in such a way before the quarterly earnings. And mm -hmm. it took they took their time before it's ready. So I'm pretty sure Carolyn... She's also pretty... It's also a pretty big case. So I, I yeah. think they'll get to her eventually. It's just that I imagine there's so many other smaller people too who applied for that for when Elon tweeted, we'll pay for your legal bill. I imagine thousands yeah. upon thousands of people. So you yep. got to give them some credit too for going through them one by one. Yeah, so, so nine, 9 millimeter 2011 says, Landmesser had run afoul of the Nazi party over his unlawful relationship with Irma Eckler, a Jewish woman. For this, he was imprisoned and eventually drafted and killed in action. That's the guy in the photo. There it is. There it fucking is, man. And here's the thing. You, 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 you thank you so much for that. Uh, staccato XC. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you so much for, for that. But that's not the only person who is going to, um, you know, do something about it. So according to this right over here, uh, Elon Musk says, so uh, responded, with, uh, responded to Gina Carano says, please let us know if you would like to join the lawsuit against Disney. And Roseanne Barr says, hello. Roseanne Barr has stepped into the ring. Uh, Roseanne Barr has stepped into a has stepped into the chat. Here comes the new challenger. But yeah, so uh, that's what's crazy, the, man. All right, so what's the story of Roseanne Barr? Roseanne Barr was let go as well from Disney. She uh, she had or... a resurgence, I, I, another show that was called the Roseanne uh, Roseanne Show, I believe, and it made a shit ton of uh, sh shit ton of money. Let's see. Um, but yeah, the, the, let, let me see. Um, why Roseanne was let go. Why Roseanne fired. Let's see. Uh, according to this, the screen rant. Uh, no, no. Accor uh, no, no. According to uh, uh, ABC, uh, in CNN Inside the Business, uh, see, I believe she said something that they didn't like. Uh, I forgot what it was. Let me, uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to see really quick. Chat, do you guys know? Uh, <laughs> is this true? Roseanne got fired from her show for calling Valerie Jernay. <laughs> he called her a monkey? <laughs> oh, shit. No way. It's looking, it's looking from... to be true. It's like, based on chat, it's looking to be true. Wow. That is funny. That is funny. So, yeah, yeah Disney fired her. But yeah, man. Um, how how do you feel about this whole Gina Carano thing, dude? It's it, it's freaking yeah, it's like, it's, insane. It's so it's so refreshing that it's finally some. Uh, we're we're fighting back. People are fighting back. So maybe there's hope that this cancel culture will finally be canceled. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it because like this, um, this not only affects people's livelihoods and it doesn't silence people anymore. But ultimately, it'll be uh, the catalyst to for better products again, especially in the West, right? I mean, look look at how badly it has festered all over Western entertainment. Look look at the games we are playing. The games we are playing were all from we're all from Japan. 
Yeah. Like the anime we are watching, it's Japan. Everything is Japan based or in Asia. Stellar Blade is in Korea. So I want we want to go back to talking about good Western stuff. Like um back in the day where we can argue about who's why this will happen or why this character is better than that character. And we can all still be friends. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, we, we can, I wish we could just go back to those days. Not about talking about this kind of BS stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know it's good for the channel, but even then, it's like we can only talk about this so many times, right? Yeah. And yeah, I I hope that um, this is the first step, first step in going back to that time. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, right, yeah, what, what, yeah, you gotta show yeah, something. So, right? so, <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so I gotta show the class, all right? I gotta show the class because someone says, look it up. So, uh, this is the woman in question. Let me see if I can find a picture of her. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, pull pull it up. Okay. Um, I put in the first thing I put in with Valerie Jarrett was Planet of the Apes. That's <laughs> the first thing that came up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing that came up. So, Gray. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. So this is this is this is the lady in question. Does she look like this? I know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> <Kinda. laughs> oh, do you know what Roseanne said in one of the interviews? <laughs> oh shit, hold on. Um <clears throat> uh let me see if I can find it. Uh let me go back. She she said, I thought that bitch was white. <laughs> Oh shit, man! It does look like her. I'm sorry. Like, are you saying that fucking, uh, fucking, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Taylor Lautner doesn't look like a fucking llama and shit like that. You're like, you must be out of your mind. But holy cow, she does actually. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh man. Yeah, yeah. These awesome powers. Yeah, yeah. Look, this look like awesome powers here too. Yeah, from Planet of the Apes, from Planet of the Apes to Awesome Powers. Damn, Reddit's Reddit's mean. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.